Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own Gorilla Tag player model fully rigged and modelled. Now, I want to give a massive shout out to Geek Nose. He was the first tutorial that I watched on how to rig, and now I'm using that to my advantage in this video. So please go subscribe to him, his channel will be in the description. The reason I'm making this video is because it's more appealing to Gorilla Tag fan game makers who don't really know what to search up themselves. So, yeah. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go, um, once blend is open, just press on A, and then just you can just delete all of this. Now you're left with the blank canvas. Now add a cube up the top, like a mesh. And as you guys can see, you can use this cube to your advantage. This could be your torso, you could have a head, some arms. I'm just going to show you how to make a simple, normal player model. So I'm going to add, come to this cog right here, add modifier, subdivision surface. It's going to make a circle. Now, more, the more of the sub viewports, the more laggy it can get. So, as you can see, this one's going to be very laggy if I was to use this circle. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this down to two, two viewports, because I reckon that looks the best. Now, I'm just going to scale this up using the scale tool. So, I think that's a good torso. Now, I'm going to copy this for the head. Just control C, control V. I'm just going to scale it down a little bit. I'm going to make it a bit more around and bring it up a bit and that's our head now I'm going to grab our head and I'm going to duplicate it and this is going to be our arm so now with our arm we want to shape it to the size we want it to be so this is it's going to be this wide I reckon by this and just a bit thinner now you can just make it a bit longer this one in. You can clone it. This is probably a bit too long so I'm actually just going to shrink this down just a tad. Copy it, paste it, and now I might bring this out a bit and then bring this one out a bit. Now you've got that, do the same for this side. Bring this one out and then bring this one out. This is just a simple model, I'm not going to go into crazy depth. Then I'm going to add a object, it's like a mesh, and I'm going to add a circle, sorry, a sphere, mesh, UV sphere, I'm going to bring this up. Now, in today's video, I'm not going to show you how to add textures to this, that might, that will be next video, or next Blender video on how to add textures. Um, yeah, so that's our hand, I guess, and then I'm going to duplicate this to the other side. So this is our simple model down, uh, it looks fine, I guess. And, um, now I'm going to go up to the cop file, export, fbx. Now I'll give it a space, I'm going to put it onto my desktop. This is just blurred so I don't leak my name. But I'm going to just um, name it to just something random. Now you've done that, you can exit out. Import the file by just clicking A, delete all of the stuff, file, import, fbx. And now that you've got your file imported, you want to be you want to make sure that you select all of the the meshes. So sh hold shift, and then right click and click on join. Now that you've done that, I'm going to go into the object mode. I'm going to go front facing view, and we're going to press uh, shift A, armature, single bone. Now nothing's going to appear, so you want to click on this little guy down here. Click on this, and then click on in front. Now go into edit mode. Press on this, press GZ, bring it down to where this one is going to be. Now select this little circle, press E to make a new bone. E again for the head, E for the shoulder, oopsies, you click on this, E for the shoulder, upper arm, lower arm, and hand. Now we're going to rename this, so this is going to be called uh, F2, root, uh, neck, Head, shoulder, upper arm, lower arm, and hand. So once that's done, go on this view, select this circle and go to Y axis view, then press on E, bring this out, then do the same but for this circle here and then bring this one out like that. Now you want to select these ones. You want to click on this little bone thing down here. 
uncheck deform for both of these. Now uncheck, uh, just click on Alt P for this one. So Alt P, clear parent, Alt P, and then clear parent. Now we're going to go to this side view. We're going to select this and we're going to go G X. Bring this one out to about there. Then, actually probably a bit too far, so I'm actually just going to bring it back just a tad. G X, about there. Once that's done, you want to uh, F2, and you want to name this IK target, and then this one is going to be called IK pole. Now that that's done, you can select this bone right here, go into pose mode, uh, and then click on add uh, the bones, the armature. Click on add bone constraint, inverse kinematics, target, armature, bone, uh, IK target, pole target, armature, bone, IK pole. Now it's going to look a bit weird, so all you're going to do is you are going to um, select it so it looks a bit like this. So you're going to do uh, chain length 2 and now your model has come back to normal. Now you're going to select this bone here, click on add bone constraint, copy rotation, target, armature, bone, and then I case target. Oh, it might flip just like that. So you're going to click on X, Y for invert and target, local space, local space. Now that that's done, your model's basically complete. If you go to, if you select this and go press G, as you can see, it kind of moves now. As you guys can see now, you've just Z. Now that that's done, you want to select all of these bones right here, and then we're gonna go up and we're gonna go back into edit mode, select armature, names, and then we're gonna do auto name left slash right, and then you should see a dot L or dot R appear. Now that that's there, you want to do armature, and then we're going to do symmetrize. Sorry, I mean, we're going to select these bones, and we are going to armature, symmetrize. Now it might appear back, if it flips over to this side, that's good. If it does appear here, then all you want to do is you want to rotate this, and it might be, look a bit buggy. And all you want to do is just kind of push it this way, and now we are just going to proportion this, so I'm going to go to the front facing view, just like this, go to G, and then, yeah. So this is going to take up quite a bit, so I'm just going to do this, and I'll cut back to when it's all angled. You can just move all of these bones around by pressing G. You can use the top view to make sure that it's in the center of the arm, like that. But um, yeah, I'm going to cut to a quick time lapse of me just reordering this, and I'll be back. Okay, that seems about right, that looks pretty good. All I'm going to do now, go into object mode, select the armature, then this, and then uh, uh, control P. Now if it bugs, just put, select the mesh and then the armature, control P, and then click on with automatic weights. Now the arm should look like this now, and it should, uh, yep, should come out really well. Then go back into pose mode, and now you may move this bone by pressing G, and if you guys see like this thing moves now, that means you set up the rig, and if you do it for this side as well, like that, and you can move this bone, and you can like move this one, but uh, you can just do Z to control Z to go back, and after that's done, just click on File, Export, and export it again. Now, once you're in, load back, load into Unity. Once you're in, all you want to do, you want to go to your assets. And I'm just going to import the model. As you guys can see, the model is now imported. It might be a bit large, as you guys can clearly kind of tell. The model kind of corrupted a little bit, as you guys can see by the textures. But all you want to do now, create a quick platform. I'm just going to do uh, plane. I'm going to just drag it over to where this guy is. And then I'm going to place down my gorilla rig. Place it down, bring it up. Now you want to get your model and you want to scale it down relatively good amount. So try and scale it down to around the size you want it to go. Now open up the Gorilla Rig, unpack it, open it up, click on Gorilla Player, and then the main camera, then click on Gizmo, and then click on uh, main camera. And as you guys can see, you see that's the head and the torso. So now we want to rotate this gorilla rig and we just want to proportion it to the spot we want it to go. So I'm going to do 90 just to rotate it sideways. And I'm going to bring it up, side down a bit. Let me see. So that's still pretty large, so I'm actually going to shrink this down just a tad bit more. Bring it up. 
sideways. And let's just see about that. Once you've aligned your model, you can just drag and drop the model under Gorilla main camera. And once that's done, you can just unpack the prefab. And turn on that, open it up, click on armature, root, shoulder left. And you just want to keep on going down until you find left and right hand. Now, the script will be in the comments, or it'll be the fast IK script. Once you've got that, make sure it's fully named to the proper name that is also in the comment. So make sure it's fully named properly scripts and then just put it in onto the left hand and the right hand. Now that you should see it turns a bit green, now click on the left hand. Now you want to select uh, le IK pole left for the pole and the target will be IK, I mean, uh, the left hand controller. Now you just do the same, so IK target, I mean IK pole, uh, so you do I IK pole right and then uh, right. Now this should be all set up well. Now just click on play. Once that's done, you should see that your arms and more visible are invisible. And now if I was to grab the left hand, I was to bring it out like this. As you guys can see, we've got our hand set up. Now the scaling's still a bit of whack, and also if you want the hands to be uh, invisible, so these like s the balls, so you just select them, right, hold control, and then just turn off mesh render for them, and there. Yeah. So I hope this tutorial helped you. Thanks for watching. Call like and subscribe, and oh yeah, see ya.